Farmers are constantly chasing weeds, we're constantly having struggles controlling weeds, especially in corn, and this is because we're over-utilizing the same three active ingredients on 50% of our corn acres. And with this, we are seeing a buildup of resistance, specifically HPPD resistance. And what Certain will bring us is a new use pattern for a group 14 and 15 in corn. And it'll allow us to go and tackle some of these really difficult weeds uh, and have the flexibility of going pre up to early post in corn. So the Certain project uh, started back in 2012, our early research and development efforts. And uh, the goal of that was to take a chemistry that could only go pre uh, and uh, make it a pro uh, chemistry that could go early post as well. And uh, so generally when you do that type of work, you're looking at some type of an encapsulation process. Uh, the standard or traditional encapsulation is a liquid encapsulation. So we went down that route uh, for the first few years and we, uh, uh, we really couldn't get the finished product that we wanted, namely getting the good residual weed control and the crop safety to go early post. So we had an innovative idea. Uh, one of our chemists uh, decided rather than go with a liquid encapsulation, go with a solid encapsulation. So take that active ingredient, uh, the PPO active ingredient, and solid encapsulate it. And uh, as we worked through that process, we were, we were able to achieve those goals of excellent residual weed control and crop safety to go early post. What we found with a lot of the testing that we've done with Certain We've actually tested it, especially in that pre-emergence time frame, which is really where we want to focus this product primarily because of the residual capabilities that it has. We've tested it without, uh, with and without a variety of products, one of those including atrazine, which is a very common tank mix partner in a lot of our corn herbicide mixtures, uh, very, very standard of the industry. But we've actually found that at the rates we're going to encourage growers to use, we don't see a lot of added value by adding that atrazine in. Certain tends to be basically an all-in-one jug solution by encompassing a lot of the weed control with some of those troublesome weeds that growers face. So that could be an added value too for a lot of, uh, a lot of those retail folks that are trying to mix and spray as quickly as possible. Uh, having one product in one jug that they, have to, they, that they can mix and make that application in the pre-emergence timeframe could also bring a lot of value in terms of efficiency of their operations too. So we're here in one of our certain research plots where we wanted to demonstrate the value of that solid encapsulation innovation that we're bringing to the table with certain. So what we're actually looking at first here is some corn plants were applied, that were applied at V1 about six days ago with sharpened herbicide. And that is the actually the unencapsulated form of that group 14 saflufenacil that we see in certain. And you can very clearly see why we cannot utilize this chemistry post-emergence uh, in the unencapsulated form. But when we switch over and we look at the, the plants that were sprayed with certain, we very quickly see a stark difference in that crop safety. This is the value that we get out of that encapsulation. We see equivalent rates of saflufenacil between this and the sharpen that we just saw. And so it immediately jumps out to you, the crop safety that we bring to the table with that encapsulation that farmers can count on while they're also getting the residual control of their weeds. It's going to be a new use pattern for group 14 in corn, where we typically aren't using group 14s right now. This is important to our customers because HPPD resistance is really growing and Certain is going to be able to address these concerns for the corn grower and it also is going to have the group 15 in there which will be a uh, it's a long chain fatty acid and it provides us residual control on small seed abroad leaves so our water hemp giant rag will be controlled by our group 14 um, palmer amaranth grasses yeah, so we've done a lot of uh, herbicide trials uh, with certain herbicide, uh, and uh, one of the things that we saw last year, we saw eight weeks of residual control with certain herbicide, so certainly showing that uh, residual endurance that we, we've talked about. Um, another uh, experiment we did uh, looking at compatibility with liquid fertilizer, uh, we saw that uh, we had enhanced uh, liquid fertilizer compatibility. Uh, some of the herbicides in the market now do mix uh, somewhat with UAN, but ATS is a fairly common uh, fertilizer that uh, is very difficult to mix with. And so again, we were pleasantly surprised that certain herbicide mixed uh, well, not only with UAN, but with ATS and then really the four-way combination with glyphosate and atrazine, which can be pretty difficult to mix with. So we're excited about that. We know a lot of growers have a weed and feed type uh, situation 
they want to get their uh, you know fertility on they also want to get uh, you know the weed control at the same time so certain herbicide is going to lend itself well to that type of scenario Certain is unique because BSF is bringing the first solid encapsulated herbicide to the market. And what we get out of this solid encapsulation of our group 14 chemistry is the av availability to go pre on a corn acre as well as early post. We can go up to V3 corn and because it's a solid encapsulation, we keep the crop safety as well as our residual length. To learn more about Certain herbicide, you can ask your local BSF rep, your local tech rep, or you can visit our website at certain-herbicide.us.